Aditya sells two rest watches from his personal collection for Rs. 12,600 each. On the first watch, he gains 26% and on the second, he loses 10%. Find the overall gain or loss percentage. Here on the first, he gains 26% means gain is equal to profit. Profit 26% means 100 plus 26, 126 percentage. Which means 2 goes 63 times in 126, 2 goes 50 times in 100. That is, if 50 part is the cost price, then 63 is the selling price. 50 is the cost price, then 63 is the selling price. Now, on the second, he loses 10 percentage. So, loss of 10 percentage means 90 percent remaining. So, 90 by 100. That is, if 10 part is the cost price, 9 part is the selling price. If 10 part is the cost price, 9 part is the selling price. But here question clearly says that selling price is same. This is same SP question. Same selling price question. That is here selling price for each of these watches is 12,600. Now we have to equalize this selling price. Here one selling price is 63 and one is 9. So we have to equalize it because question says it. So here this is 63. If I multiply 9 with 7, this will become 63. Now selling price equalized. But when I multiply selling price with 7, I should multiply cost price with 7 in order to equalize this part. Now total selling price is equal to 63 plus 63, 126. And total cost price is equal to 50 plus 70, that is 120. Now you can see here increment is equal to plus 6. That is this plus 6 increment is from this 120 rupees. 10 percentage of 120 is 12 which means 5 percentage is the gain. So option 2 is your answer. That is here this is like gain is like difference between Selling price and cost price is 6. The 6 part is generated from this cost price 120. So 6 by 120 into 100 is equal to 5 percentage. So this is gain.